Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we will see this sum in isometric. Now if you see on right hand side we have 64, on left hand side we have 70 and height is 100. So first we will draw layout. Then if you see there are two parts, see this, one rectangle and one circle. And in this also there are two parts. So this part corresponds to this and this corresponds to this. Right? So first we will start with this one. I will take, I will take 50. And I will take this behind by 70. So I will draw this layout. See this, this part, second part. Now here I will take midpoint. So from midpoint I will take 37, 37 and here also I will draw a line and I will take 37, 37 on both the sides. So what I am doing, I am drawing rhombus because we need to draw a half circle. So we need to draw rhombus for that. I am sorry, I'm, my board is moving a bit. We'll, we'll complete this rhombus. So from center point we took 37, 37, 37, 37 and we did this rhombus. Then we'll do longest diagonal. After that this is point 1 and we'll join opposite midpoint. See this is 1 M 2, 3, 4 M Now we'll take 1 to M and we'll draw arc Four to M and we'll draw R. So by doing this, we have completed semicircle. Then we'll complete this part. We are just darkening it. So we are done with this part, the semicircle part. After doing that. The same thing is behind right now if you see this circle circle is in the middle so what i'll do i'll take midpoint of this this is 64 i will take half of that 32 and i'll draw a vertical line and i already have the midpoint i'll just take it here so if you see this point let's say this point is i can do it behind also but i'm just taking this point as p right and now here I'm taking 25 up, 25 down, 25 left, 25 right. The same thing what we did earlier with 37. The same thing we are doing it over here. And we are drawing it vertical and parallel line like this. So we'll get a rhombus. Again once you get a rhombus you have to draw longest diagonal. To mark point 1 and 2. And then 1 you join to the opposite midpoint. That is point M. Now you take 1 to M and draw R. Same way you take 2 to M and draw R and this is point 3, this is point 4 from point 3 to M see this 3 to M draw R 4 to M So we are done with the outer circle. Now the same circle is behind. How much behind? 20. So I have to take all the points behind by 20. So I will take 1, 2, 3, 4. All the points behind by 20. And from P also I am taking it behind. So that is point Q which I was talking about earlier. So this point from Q also you can draw rhombus. Same method. Or you can take 1, 2, 3, 4 behind by 20. So I am going with shifting all the points behind by width. The width is 20 over here, so I'm taking from all the points. See, I'm taking 20 behind and I'm writing dash. So now what I'll do, I'll take 
here 1 to m and from 1 dash I will draw r 3 to m will take that radius from 3 dash will draw r same way 4 dash and will draw r now we need to draw tangent see this is how you will draw so you draw tangent like this So we are done with the behind part. Now what we need to do, we need to draw the middle circle that is diameter 25. That is also the same way from the center point you take 12.5, 12.5. See this. This will be dark. Now I know this much portion will be dark so I can do that much. Now see this, from center you take 12.5, 12.5 and again you draw rhombus. See at times it will be very crowded in terms of lines and all. So make sure you draw very light. Here I can't draw light because if I'll draw light then you people won't be able to see. Same method, longest diagonal. From here you draw opposite midpoint. I'm writing it as a 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. It's not that accurate because my distance is like I'm quite away from my drawing right now, so I can't see that much. So, from see, I'm drawing this now. What I've realized that there is slight error. So, what I'm doing, I'm taking phi to m, and from m, I'm cutting it reverse see this i'm doing reverse engineering so from that point we can draw this arc so i'm not going by the traditional method i'm doing it reverse see here also i have to do the same thing because it won't match because there is slight error so from m i'm cutting the point 3 to m i've taken and i've cut from m so i'll get the new point from that point you can draw this is allowed this light because if you are doing a such a big sum and there is light error then it's okay try and avoid this so I hope everyone understood how to do this thank you